and time to plate this delicious pasta dish. Not only looks beautiful, but it smells wonderful and I know it's gonna taste even more amazing. This was so fast and easy to prepare, less than 20 minutes, an elegant, tasty, and delicious meal. The farfalle pasta is perfectly al dente. The shrimp are plump, moist, the broccoli green and crisp. Everything is perfect in less than 20 minutes. Mmm, so, so good. Hi, it's Wednesday and it's market day in Ahihi. I'm so excited to be showing you all this wonderful fresh produce. Wednesday is market day in Ajijic, Mexico, and that's where we are. We spend the winter in beautiful Ajijic Lake Chapala. The markets are filled with fresh fruits and vegetables, all kinds of meats, chicken, shrimp, you name it, we can find it at the market. The main components are the farfalle pasta, the shrimp and the broccoli. Along with that, we've got some aromatics in garlic, red crushed pepper flakes, some salt, lemon juice, butter. The, the sauce is simple. We have a little bit of tomato puree, tomato paste, and cream is what makes it the rosé sauce. And the dish will be finished off with some fresh flat leaf parsley and of course Parmesan cheese. We're going to start on sauté and we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil to the pot. Now I just simply eyeball the olive oil and I'm sure you can do that or you can use a tablespoon measurement. And to that oil I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of butter. Just giving it a little swirl and when the butter is melted that's when we'll add some chopped garlic about two tablespoons of chopped garlic. Stir. You can hear that sizzle and the butter is melted. Time for the chopped garlic. Give it a stir and make sure the garlic does not burn. You can tell when it's starting to get ready for the next step because you can really smell that wonderful garlic flavor in the air. The butter is almost melted and the garlic is just about perfect at this stage. No more burning and now we're going to deglaze the pot. Before the butter burns and we're just at that stage, we're going to deglaze the pot with about a half a cup of white wine. That will stop any burning. Now, if you don't want to use white wine, you can always just add a half a cup of chicken broth. Okay, to this we're adding a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. And again, I didn't measure it, but I just simply eyeballed it. Feel free to use your measuring spoons. We're ready to add more aromatics. A tablespoon of lemon juice. Now we have a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. If you like it spicier, you can add a bit more, and if you don't want any spice, you can simply omit the red pepper flakes. Next, we are going to cancel the sauté. Everything has merged together, and time to cancel that sauté. Give it another little stir. 
but you can really smell that wonderful aroma just from those few ingredients. Now it's time to add our farfalle pasta. And we're going to cover it with chicken stock. That's about a cup, a cup and a half of chicken stock. Make sure that you just press the pasta down, but do not stir. You just want to make sure that each of those farfalle pastas are covered with stock. And now I'm adding about a half a cup of tomato puree. And again, we're just gonna add that to the top of the pasta. It's so important that we don't stir this in at this time. Now, wasn't that simple? It's ready for the lid to be put on. The lid is now locked into place and I've made sure that the valve is turned to sealing. The pressure cook button gets pressed and we set the time to five minutes. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so and you'll be sure not to miss any of our videos. It's been so encouraging to have so many of you subscribe and while we're waiting for the pressure to come up to five minutes and for the pasta to cook, now's a good time to grate our cheese that we'll be finishing off our dishes with. There's nothing like freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano to finish off any pasta dish. And the easiest way to grate your cheese, of course, is by using a microplane grater. And if you look in the description, there's a link to Amazon. They carry the whole line of microplane products that I use. And make sure for all your pasta dishes, you always buy cheese Parmigiano Reggiano in a solid piece. Don't use the grated in a can for that. It's just not the same. It's effortless and all you have to do to make it snow is simply slide it back and forth, give it a tap and it's as easy as that. What we have remaining to be added are the shrimp and the broccoli and our garnishes, chopped parsley and the grated Parmesan cheese. And the other ingredient that we add at the end is our cream. Shrimp and broccoli are two ingredients that cook really quickly. They would be terribly overcooked if we put them in at the beginning of the pressure cooking process. Milk or cream or any dairy product should not be added to the pot and put under pressure. We'll just simply add it to the end. This tasty dish can be made in under 20 minutes. It's good enough for company, but you can use it for any weekday meal. The five minutes is now up and the pressure is still built up in the pot. We'll wait a minute or so and then we're going to hit that release button for a quick release. Now that the button is dropped, it releases the lid, it's safe to remove. As you can see, there's a bit of liquid along with the pasta. I'm going to now cancel the pressure and we will hit the saute button one more time. When it's on saute mode, it allows some of that excess liquid to evaporate and we'll be adding our broccoli now. Give it a good stir and the heat from the saute function will now cook that broccoli. We'll give it a minute head start and then we'll add the shrimp. It smells delicious and time for the shrimp. I've got about half a pound to three quarters of a pound of shrimp and you can use any size. These are medium sized shrimp. You can see the broccoli is turning a bright green and the shrimp are turning pink. The shrimp are pink and curling and they are ready. Time to turn this into a rosé sauce by adding the cream or milk. And our dish is just about ready to serve.
It looks delicious and smells even better. Time to turn that off, everything's cooked. And time to plate this delicious pasta dish. This delicious pasta dish not only looks beautiful, but it smells wonderful and I know it's gonna taste even more amazing. I'm just about ready to taste this delicious dinner, but before I do, a few finishing touches. That wonderful Parmesan cheese that we grated and a little sprinkling of chopped fresh parsley. This was so fast and easy to prepare, less than 20 minutes, an elegant, tasty, and delicious meal. The farfalle pasta is perfectly al dente. The shrimp are plump and moist. The broccoli green and crisp. Everything is perfect in less than 20 minutes. Mmm. So, so good. I hope you try this dish and let me know that you have. I love hearing your comments. And if you like what you saw today, please hit subscribe. And if you like this dish, here's the next video you should watch. I'm Stella V and make sure you come and cook with me.